God is in no wise a safety net for the blind. He's not someone to be commanded to perform magic tricks or forced into self-revelation, not by his own son. And this is something I've interacted with when I was younger. When I was younger, uh, I, I, I grew up in a household uh, that believed in, in God and Jesus Christ. And when I was a young teenager and even a child, here's what I would do. And very few people know this. I would sit on my bed, and when I'm going, th when tragedies of my life would, would, arise, when when suffering would arise, I would sit on my bed, and I would put my hands together and close my eyes, and sometimes I would cry to myself because I'd be going through certain tragedies and suffering, and would it was painful, and I would I would pray. I would pray to to God, to fix my problems. I would pray to God to. F you know, f to fix my suffering and to, f and to fix the people around me who are suffering to help them, you know, a and to help myself to fix me, you know, make me more intelligent, make me better looking, um, fix my, my family who is going through X and Y problems, please, you know, I don't, I, I, I'm not, I don't have a girlfriend, help, I want a girlfriend, you know, I want someone to love, you know, help, can you, Help me do that. Why isn't that happening? And I, I would feel like it'd be like you'd be wishing for God to give you these these things. You'd like to to create these like magic tricks. Like he's gonna just flick his fingers and all this. Oh, your life's gonna be better. I was deluded. I was like, this is. This is not productive in any shape or form. Hope is productive, but I was, I was almost begging for my life to be better without doing anything about it. And it's then I had to realize as I grew older. Hold on, I must assume responsibility. This is on me. This ain't on some, some guy in the sky, regardless of of, the, of his of whether he's real or not. It's not about whether the existence of God is factually true or not. It's, it's about the idea of relying on some universal force or some, some, some entity that is out of your control to fix your problems. And the only one who's going to fix your problems, I realized, was me. I had to make myself into a better person to be desired by others. Oh, you want, oh, you, you want a relationship with somebody? Oh, you want to know what it feels like to love somebody and to have someone love you? Okay. Be someone worthy of loving. How about that? How about you fix yourself and make yourself into a person who's worthy of being loved and so, but more, most of all, be, be worthy enough to love yourself. Because you don't even love yourself right now and you want to be loved? Get the fuck out of here. It's a, it's a contradiction of life. You know, you want to fix your family? Fix yourself. You want to fix your suffering? Look in the mirror, you know, and Peterson says something very important here. Christ does not causally order or even dare ask God to intervene on his behalf. Yet I was doing it. If Christ didn't do it, I was doing it to God. How, that Christ didn't even do it. But you're doing it to God. You're asking this, this pie in the sky entity to fix your problems. He refuses to dispense with his responsibility for the events of his own life. He refuses to demand that God prove his presence. He refuses as well to solve the problems of moral vulnerability in the merely personal manner. By compelling God to save him, because that would not solve the problem for everyone else and for all time. It doesn't solve the problem. 